Today we're talking about why shortcuts never work. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. Today's video I want to discuss the failure people encounter when they try to take shortcuts to achieve their goals. I did not ride this weekend, it being Easter weekend, I went ahead and took off the entire weekend. I just needed some time off. I had everything mapped out to go for a ride, but when I got up, I just felt like my out the door was like zero. Basically, I had no desire to get out the door. I felt like I just needed time, and I needed to let my body physically and mentally absorb all the training I've been doing for the last, more than the last year. So sometimes you have to listen to yourself in that regard. Well, what I want to address today is uh, some of the messages I've gotten, the comments on the channel. One particular comment came to mind that inspired this video. The person's name is Jerry T, a new legend. He said, just to clarify, base training. Is it training at zone two most of the time to increase your base? If you are short on time, what do you think of sweet spot training, which is about 85 to 90% of your threshold for two by 16 minutes with four minutes of recovery? So uh, it's clear that Jerry's been reading some of the training stuff that's out there on the internet or in books or whatever. And so I wanted to kind of address that. I gave him links to our training programs and coaching programs on, on the website so he can take advantage of that if he chooses to because uh, the reason I want to address that is what you read online is not necessarily going to work for everybody. So those structures that he mentioned, you know, two by 10 minutes and so forth and so on. You have to figure out what you need for you. That's what's important. That's the reason writers get a coach. All of us have access to the information on the internet. If it were cookie cutter, it would work for everybody, but it does not. And his question makes sense because what if you don't have a whole lot of time? So what he said here, which is what I want to address is he said, if you are short on time, he didn't specify how much time he did have. So how I want to approach this is to just let people be a little more realistic. If you only have, say, three to four hours a week to train, do not expect to keep up with someone who has 10 to 12 hours a week to train, everything else being equal. Everything else meaning similar genetics, and we know that's a, that's a red herring. I mean, how do you calculate that? Basically, in a hypothetical situation. Both of you have the same talent, and this person is training 12 hours a week, and you're training four hours a week. Don't expect to be at that level. That's unrealistic. That's not gonna happen. That's what I'm trying to get to. So, we know that it's rare that you'll find the, the talents being similar, because every human being is different. You got motivation, you got the ability to suffer. Those are all the intangibles that are in there. So the way I want to approach it is this way. If you only have four hours to train, it is imperative that you find out how many hours you will need to devote to endurance, threshold, lactic tolerance workouts, whatever, depending on the time of the year. You need to find out what you need to devote to that to be able to achieve your goals. But then your goals need to be realistic. Don't expect to keep up with guys like Mo and them that we ride with sometimes well, that are doing 80 mile fast rides and you're only training four hours a week. That's way over your head. So you need to set the proper goals. If you only have limited time to train, you need to still train all the zones. There is no skipping. You can't only do threshold work. It's just not gonna be enough because you need endurance as well for whatever event you're going to do. So, if your events are very short, yeah, you can probably skip some of the endurance. If your event is like 45 minutes or so, you probably won't need a lot of endurance, but you still need some of it. And the challenge will be finding out how much you need. That's why people get a coach so that it can help them identify what their body requires to help them achieve that specific goals. As your goals change, it will require different allotment of time on your part to be able to achieve loftier goals. So if your goal is only to do a 45 minute fast criteria, yeah, you may not need to do a lot of endurance. You may only need to do speed work, lactic tolerance work. 
So you need to stick with that and be realistic. Don't start trying to do longer rides, harder, faster, longer rides, knowing that you're only training a few hours a week. That's not enough to get you prepared for that. That's what I'm, I'm trying to address. So that's what I mean when I say there are no shortcuts. Keep your goals within the parameters that you can handle based on the time you have to devote. The second caveat is until you find out what your body needs to be able to achieve whatever your goals are, your, your goal may be a certain pace you want to maintain or you have a power meter or certain wattage you want to hold for a period of time. It will take a certain amount of training in the different areas to get you there. So until you figure out what it takes to get you to accomplish that goal, keep your goals realistic. When I used to compete, I did a 40 kilometer time trial in like 53 minutes or something one time, which was a good performance for me. And some guy who was close in, in, the, in the same area as far as the standings, he said, ah, no, I can take two minutes off my time. And I told him, I said, well, you need to be a little more conservative because striving to remove two minutes in a short period of time, you're just setting yourself up for failure. I told him, you might want to consider removing a few seconds at a time. Set that as a goal. So that's what I'm getting at. Don't set loftier goals that you have either the time or talents to achieve. As a result, you will have very little disappointment. Okay? So be realistic and no matter what, keep getting your K's in.